This will be the second episode of the one episode series on uh, that I am now dubbing uh, Rook's Craft Corner. So uh, for this, you'll need some kind of knife, um, some coasters that you can mutilate with the knife, a glue gun, and a carrying case, some tissues to wipe away your tears, uh, pure castle soap, we'll, we're gonna use a half a cup, um, coconut oil, and some raw honey, as well as the essential oils that you pick out to m clean and moisten your skin, as well as to keep the demons at bay. Um, and we'll be using a quarter cup of the uh, coconut oil and the honey. And so here are our two potion, um, potion bottles that we'll use to house said uh, bath scrub. As you can already see, this is uh, the second episode but uh, in the first one that I didn't record or even know that I would be recording, I have put together these uh, two toppers for the two said potion bottles. Now, these didn't come like this, nor did they sell any toppers that were big enough for those at the Hobby Lobby. So I don't know, I don't know what kind of game I was playing or what plan that I had in my head because I didn't have one of those, um, but I, I cut them out and and now they're here because I put a lot of hot glue on them um, when they fit if you put them on kind of like a suction cup because the, the, the glue is kind of movable and malleable and because I made this even harder on myself and cut out two different instances of the, uh, of the cork, it turned out like this poorly, but it'll do. Uh, so the next step that we have to do is combine all the things into a, into a bowl. You're gonna need a bowl too in case you don't have one. I don't know if you have one or not. I didn't have one when I first moved into this house. Um, but anyway, we're gonna start digging into this, this coconut oil here. Boy, I just, I think this is gonna go poorly. I mean, this will go greatly. We're gonna, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna make some bath scrub and and maybe my friends will love me again. Um, Merry Christmas, by the way. Shout outs to Father Christmas. And um, I guess the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna get a big honking spoonful. I'm a little bit surprised at the density of this coconut oil. I'm not sure what I expected, but I didn't expect something hard. So, um, we might need to get a different spoon here to spoon the coconut oil out. Uh, now I did get this received. I, I earned this amalgamation of different sized spoons uh, for Chris, Christmas. Shout outs, Christmas. Christmas shout outs to my, my old running mate, my old arch nemesis, and my old uh, friend. Yeah, that's the one my old friend gave them to me. So we're gonna we're gonna dig in here with a couple. Mm, just look at it. Doesn't it look good? A couple of nice neat spoonfuls of the coconut oil. I hear this stuff is good for your skin, but I personally have never tried it because I am not a witch or a vegan. Um, it seems that it's kind of melting as I'm putting it on here, so I'm gonna kind of try and, mm, I don't know how well this is gonna work one-handed, but we're gonna do it anyway because this is a labor of love, and if there's anything I love, it's labor. Um, so this, this was, um, I guess I should get behind the reason, the why. You don't do anything in this life without having a reason, and if you do do something without a reason, then um, you should probably check your values there, kid. Uh, the reason that I'm making this is because a friend wanted to start making, oh, that's not good on the fingers, wanted to start making handmade Christmas gifts. Um, oh God, it's so mucky for Christmas, and they live far away, so I couldn't hit them with a Bible and tell them no. Uh, so we, we, we're here. We're here now at 11 when I should be sleeping with coconut on my hands, and 
Yeah, here we go. Um, first step complete. A lot of very smooshy coconut oil. I don't feel right anymore. It's time for some honey. We're making a list and checking it twice and I only looked at the list once, so we're gonna kinda take some liberties. I'm also taking liberties with the, uh, the oils that I used. You can use whatever you have on hand or maybe, maybe the nearest Witcher vegan near you knows a better combination of oils to receive the amount of um, stamina points that you need back from when you were going to use this almighty potion, this simple brew, this home brew of excellence and muckiness. I can't really think that anyone's gonna put this on their body and think, man, that was a good choice. That Bobby character, he knows what the fuck he's doing. Um, later in life, I'm probably gonna look back on this and have a chuckle, but as I'm making it right now, I'm just like hoping that, hoping that water takes off the gunkiness on my hand. Uh, next ingredient, we are going to add the quarter cup. Oh God, oh, that's burpy. We're gonna add a quarter cup of the pure castle soap. Now, I know my mother, she uh, she likes using this to wash her floors, and it's got oh, well, a hell of a lot of text on it that I am just not gonna read. Um, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna pour this soap into here and then hope, hope to God that it doesn't make mustard gas when combined with the coconut oil and honey. Oh, please don't be mustard gas. There are too many internet jokes like that online where they tell you to combine two things and then you end up with um, burns inside of your lungs. And at that point, um, the internet five-year-olds have won. So now that we've combined that, it's really starting to look like a shampoo body scrub. Body scrub is what I'm making, in case you can't tell by the large chunk of, of coconut and the honey that's settled and then the castle soap that's sitting on top. So now I'm gonna take my gunky hand and I'm going to attempt to wipe it off. Okay, it didn't work, let's move on. Uh, first up we got lemon. Now lemon, if I can double t tag team this photo, no, no. No, Bobby, don't change the camera. Already. I'm Rook. Um, it said to use a couple of lemon, so we'll use lemon. Now, in previous experiences when I've put lemon on my body, um, it's usually used to help with acne. You could also add it to your drink as kind of like an immune system boost. But when I have added it, um, it's burned my skin, like a lot. So we're gonna add about 10 drops of this, which is more than I'd ever think to put on my body. Oh, we'll count it out. One, two, three, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, nine, 10, 10. Okay, perfect. Well, that's the first one. And next they said to add eucalyptus, but then they didn't specify what eucalyptus to use. So we're gonna use the one that starts with an R. And we're gonna add about 10 drops. So count them out with me. One, two, six, nine, 11, 14, 15, 16, nine, and 10. Okay, good counting. Next, we're gonna use some lavender because in my experience with, with lavender, um, it helps with acne and also doesn't burn your skin like another product that we used. So let's add, I don't know, 10 drops of this one. One, two, three, five, seven, nine. Oh God, it's coming out fast. Uh, uh, 10. Okay, kind of got to, sometimes in life, you just gotta not say anything to the waiter that comes and asks if you want cheese on that. 
I'm like, as he's, as he's using the cheese grate, you just don't tell him to stop because you're worth it and you like cheese. And there'll never be enough. Lastly, we've got tea tree. Now, from what I know about tea tree, uh, it's also called Melaleuca A. I don't know how to pronounce the A thing, and I don't feel like looking like more of an idiot um, today in this video. Moving forward, we're going to have about 10 drops of this. It says it's good for your skin, so it must be true. One, two, six, nine, 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 nine. Okay, good enough. Actually, maybe a couple more drops. I don't feel like that was good enough. Felt like a very subpar of 10. Mm, okay. Now the last thing that we'll do is we'll stir it all together and pretend like it made a body scrub. Ooh, okay. Last thing we'll do. Um, so we're gonna tag team this, scrape out the used, the leftover, the, the honey, and we'll kinda and just kind of twirl it around in there for a bit and watch it move, break it up with this spin. Uh, it kind of looks like cottage cheese that's been like soaked in some watered down Pepsi. Yeah. I mean, it looks like I'd want to put that on my body my body in the shower. It looks like it suds up. I mean, it is suds up. I mean, there's soap in it, obviously it suds up. <laughs> um, and I, I haven't developed a cough yet, so I don't think it's turning into mustard gas yet. You know, it just kind of dawned on me, but I think those vials are a little bit big for this. Uh, I might only have to use one of the horrible abominations that I made. Maybe. Hmm. It was yet to be determined. Um, I, if I'm being honest with whoever watches this video, which I assume it'll just be me, um, I'm not crafty. You know this. I know this. We all know this. Bobby's never been extremely crafty, except when, um, when he's needed to do something um, that results in a joke. Um, this is the closest thing to a craft that I've probably done since the second grade. Um, there, I mean, there have been instances that I've made other crafts, but never one with such a vim and vigor. Um, and by vim and vigor, I mean I went to Hobby Lobby Where was I going with that? I was going to the place where I was gonna say I'm not gonna probably put this much effort into anything ever again. Um, especially for the rest of the day today. I don't know what the other person was thinking they were going to receive from me when they said they wanted a handmade gift for Christmas. But if they could have seen the look on my face, boy, boy would they be, uh, They wouldn't, they would have known that I wasn't happy. Um, but, you know, maybe this is gonna have to go in a box and it's gonna have to be delivered by the postal service. So, um, <clears throat> at the risk of sounding like I'm the owner of a drug ring, I'm probably gonna put this in an unlabeled baggie and send the card separately so that when they open it, they don't know what it is. There's just some interesting fluid in there and no explanation. I don't know, that might be a good idea. That might not, I don't know. Something tells me that it's a good idea. So my phone's been doing this weird thing where it's not charging properly and the charge has been going on and off. So I don't know if there are a lot of weird audio cuts, but, um, this has been Bobby's craft corner, and I'm not going to try and funnel that in there uh, with one hand on the table. I'm going to do it over the sink. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to take two trips because misery loves company. We're going to go over here to the sink. 
better turn on some light in this. This is a high quality video that we're doing here. I'll take both of these. Um, over to this thing. And we'll move, move them. Um, mind the dishes, I eat a lot of vegetables and drink a lot of OJ. Um, so how are we gonna do this, old friend? We're gonna put this precariously there, and we're gonna, Mm, maybe a Dixie cup would suit this better. Maybe if we get a Dixie cup and we use a Dixie cup to kind of scoop the poop as... It doesn't look like poop, but it could. If someone said that came out of your bum, I don't think you could argue too terribly. Too terribly much. And, and, you know, come up with an adequate defense. Oh. Oh, boy. Um. So. We're just kind of mixing and pouring. And making some... Making some headway. Uh. Now, this person said that they're making gifts. I don't know if it's a two-person gig, but I'll probably just make this and move along. Um, like buy the other person a gift. Something tells me that they're only gonna buy me one gift. And by buy, I mean make. And I don't know what they're gonna make, but I don't think, I think there's only gonna be one. So that means that I get a buy. Okay, that's been Rook's Craft Corner. I fucking made some body scrub and it didn't even fill one potion bottle, so now I'm a little bit disappointed that I made enough for two. That's called Hindsight's 2020. And that's called always make sure you know the proportions before you start doing extra work. Life lessons have been done. I'm gonna go order some Jimmy John's. Peace!